Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a reading for the 10th until the 16th of March. Check your moon, Venus and rising if the messages don't resonate or if you'd like more insights. Giving away the Arcadum Tarot deck this month, so leave a comment if you'd like to be a part of the giveaway. By doing so, you've entered. Messages for Sagittarius. death overall energy so some of you are going through a transformation a change it could be a change in relationship from an old to a new some of you could be dealing with someone with with a scorpio in the chart some of you could have scorpio in your chart longing for someone okay you're, you're longing for someone here some of you could be long distance some of you just can't see each other as often or you just really want to see this person today or they could be a Sagittarius some of you are dealing with the Sagittarius or someone with Sagittarius in the not Sagittarius what am I saying Aquarius sorry Aquarius, someone with Aquarius in the chart, but you're wanting this happy every, ever after, or you're wanting this relationship. Some of you are really attracted to this person. You're seeing them as a nine of cups, so that everything you wished for. Some of you could be dealing with someone, you know, who is either big in muscle or curvy, but um, you are it is a wish fulfillment for you like uh, at least physical physically okay feeling fulfilled when you think of this person a lot of attraction here a longing for this person could be a scorpio type or an aquarius type let's see this person is taking it very light-hearted though could be a new beginning, a new relationship for some of you, or a reconciliation, getting back with someone, or a fairly new situation with this person is taking it slow. Baby steps with this person, their feelings, the will of fortune, so they feel like they got lucky with you. Very good feelings towards you. Not so much emotion, but like attraction and a good feeling that you could be play a major role in their life. And the senior is the two of cups, so they do see a connection with you, a soulmate connection, a strong connection. Some of you have, you know, an exciting time going on right now in love. Okay, let's see. And then there is this, again, new situation where you're both just newly falling for each other, like getting feelings. What's blocking is for some of you, if you're male, this woman might be married to a man. <laughs> some of you. Um, or it could be that um, a father is blocking. Someone, um, a strong male figure or a woman. Or it could be a financial situation that's blocking the both of you. Maybe not enough money to travel to see each other. But there is this, this love, this, these small feelings that are growing. Okay, even if you've been together for a while, there could even be two kids if it's a marriage. Or if, or if you're in a relationship, you could have two kids with this person. 
It could be that this person has two kids and the mother or father of the kids is in the way. Could be anything like that. Let's see, the hanged man. So some of you have seen this from a different perspective, especially if there's kids involved. Maybe some of you are not, um, about to date someone with kids, but then you're so attracted to this person that you may just take that, um, take that offer. But it could be that you may just hang in there until this, this um, person who's standing in the way moves out the way. Um, hopefully it's not a spouse. Hopefully this person you're dealing with is not married. The star, what's the star here? The devil, so Capricorn as well. Addicting, addictive, highly attracted to this person. Feeling addicted to this person. Some of you may have walked away from a partner, your previous partner, to be with this person. Or you may have left a relationship recently or last year and now have found someone very attractive. Some of you may be even thinking about walking away from this person if they have kids and you are still thinking about whether you want to get involved or not. So, let's see. Two of Wands. Yep, new start for some of you with the Ace of, yeah, Page of Cups again. Another child, but um, yeah, new start with this person. It could be you have one child and they have one child, or you have two, they have one. There's kids involved for some of you. If not, it could be this, just the feelings here coming up as the pages, the um, flirty text messages, the love text messages between the both of you, texting each other because you're at long distance for some of you, but it is a new start, something you're thinking about a lot. Okay, nine of cups. You may have walked away from a relationship yeah, some of you may have moved on to this person really quickly. Almost feels like cheating with the lovers or like it's forbidden. Some of you are dealing with a forbidden situation. I hate to say that some of you may be dealing with someone who's married or someone who's in a relationship or you've walked away from your partner, broken up and moved on quickly, some of you. The Page of Pentacles. They are unsure. So, yep. Some of you dealing with someone taken. Could be a risk for them to be with you if they're taken. They have these two options, the spouse or the their current partner and you. If this person's taken, it could be a risk for them. For some of you, that if it's not a married person or someone who's in a relationship, they're taking it slow because they're trying to make sure it's the right um, relationship for them, being with you. The risk of getting hurt is a factor for them, something they think about, so it definitely is a leap. If some of you are waiting for communication, someone may take the leap and reach out to you. They're thinking about reaching out to you. If it's someone from the past who you miss, you're waiting to come back around, they may take the leap and reach out. I see Wheel of Fortune here. This person may be, could be a Libra, someone with Libra in the chart, but they may be fantasizing or delusional when it comes to maybe their expectations of you. Maybe you'll soon see that they expect more, like a commitment right away. Okay, with justice here. 
the main one rush into commitment. So if you're male do, dealing with a female, it could be someone who um, wants to run to the altar. Some of you could be a male who wants to quickly get married or rush into a relationship, have high, high expectations of you. They do feel really lucky to have, be, to have met you. Okay, but it could, it could lead to, you know, them thinking a lot, like fantasizing a lot about unrealistic things. Two of Cups. Third party. So this person, again, some of you, this person is taken. Or you are taken. Uh, someone's taken this third party here, but... Um, they may feel they may feel bad about the betrayal, about you betraying someone or them betraying someone, but they feel this strong connection with you. They feel like they could um, possibly move on from their partner with you, or just have a relationship with you if it's if neither of you are taken. So there's some kind of guilt or anxiety around the situation. Like maybe they don't trust you. Or you don't trust them. Queen of Cups. So yep, yeah, there is there could be a baby mother or baby father involved blocking, you know, causing this um rejection, causing them to have to reject you or you to have to reject someone. So it could be a baby mother or a baby father for some of you. Or it could be anyone who's just standing in the way of the relationship. Causing um, a rejection or a feeling of rejection, um, blocking this, this partnership from happening. Okay, let's clarify your outcome. The hanged man, where's the hanged man here? Some of you are going to wait around until this person um, is over this, the ex or, you know, so that you can have this family with them, the Ten of Cups. There's an unbreaking of the heart. There's healing here for someone. Someone needs to heal in order for a family to happen. With the sun, everything is going to work out. So some of you are just hanging around and waiting. If you're dealing with someone who's taken, wait until it's possible. Some of you are waiting for um, someone to come back around to take the leap, and they will, with the Ten of Cups and the Sun, and the Three of Swords in reverse, meaning the pain will stop. So some of you are just waiting for something to unfold here when it comes to this person. Messages for Sagittarius. Make the effort, great love is worth taking the steps you're going to take. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There's a lot of attraction here, so let's forget about the word attraction. Let's talk about chemistry or the fact that something is blocking this relationship. Most of you, or for a lot of you, it's that this person is taken or you're taken. Or there's kids involved, maybe kids don't like you. <laughs> I'm just joking. Something is blocking you, okay? Someone. For a lot of you, it's someone blocking this situation from happening and you're just gonna wait around so the unrequited love I feel like it's just about this blockage here 
think I hear puppies. Oh my god. I want to go get one. <laughs> Alright, messages for Sagittarius. Power. Someone is in a position of power blocking you. It could be a person's father or mom or the baby mother or father. Disruption. Someone's disrupting your love life here. Awareness. Listen to your intuition. Spiritual union. For some of you, it's a spiritual union, especially if the person is not taken, then yeah, meant to be. I'm not going to promote um, people who are dealing with a married person. If you are, then that's up to you, but a spiritual union, if the person isn't taken, it could even be that the person's taken, yes, and you have a spiritual union with this person, but <sighs> let's just go, I can't even get into this, it's complicated. Sometimes it happens that way, unfortunately. But mental conflict. I would say to not think about this too much, to take a break and just hang in there like the hangman, just see it from a different perspective, especially if you're waiting for someone to reach out to you, they will, they're just really thinking about it right now, but there's a lot of pages, so there's a lot of messages coming in for a lot of you, you have sacrifice, so some of you may need to let go of the situation until um, it's the right time. Let go of um, wanting someone to reach out to you so that it can just happen naturally. Messages for Sagittarius. Don't stop. Be assertive. Speak your mind about what you want, but still let go within a few weeks look for a sign and within a few weeks so if you're waiting for communication here it is there's a time frame for you within a few weeks sacral chakra make sure your sacral chakra is spinning this will help you in your situation but within a few weeks if you're waiting for communication this will happen if you're waiting, if you're longing to see someone, you may see them in a few weeks, you may hear from them, you know, things may get a move, start to move forward within a few weeks. But this person, regardless, they are thinking about you, they are feeling lucky to have you, they are fantasizing, maybe not in such a great way, like they may be fantasizing a little bit too much about you, but they feel this soulmate connection. I do get the feeling that some of you are really attracted to this person, but this person may end up scaring you away a little bit soon because they may not seem like they're more into you than you're into them, but they are. So they may start to show a little bit of clinginess later on, it may scare you away, some of you. Just wanted to point that out, but the main thing is that someone's blocking you guys from having a union. It could be any circumstance, but it's, whatever it is is causing you mental conflict and you definitely need to take a break and just let go and let the universe deal with it. So whatever it is you're waiting for within a few weeks, within the next few weeks, it should come to you, okay? So, yep, that's what I would focus on. Just letting go, being the hangman, become the hangman, just chill out and possibly even heal if you're the one who needs healing, focus on your healing 
and you will attract this ten of cups whether it be with this person or with someone who is available if this person is not available or you know if, if they become available you know things will work out for you soon you just gotta take this break take a break here all right take a little rest and let go for a minute and it will happen so Sagittarius this is your reading for the 10th until the 16th of March 2019. Check your moon, Venus, and rising if the messages didn't resonate or if you'd like more insights. And if you'd still like to be a part of the giveaway for the Arcanum Tarot deck, leave a comment letting me know. And by doing so, you've entered, picking the winner at the end of the month. So stay tuned for that. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.